change the form and content of uh, theatre to attract more crowds? Do you think that something is missing on those uh, fronts? Uh, I'm, I'm not so sure if we need to change our form and content. I think we need to look more at... I think our form and content will, will automatically change if we know what we're doing. And I think what happens... What the biggest question theatre people face today... And I'm not sure that all of them are facing it. That's the problem. They should be facing the question of trying to reallocate and re-realize what the importance of theatre is in this electronic medium that we're, we're, we're living in. I mean, we're being bombarded at every venue, at every, every moment with the electronic media. And um, we've got to sort of reinvent why we exist. And we've got to discover what, what the importance of the live performing art is, what our relevance is. And it'll change. It has to change. We can't keep doing 50-year-old productions or 100-year-old productions. And if we do, we've got to reinterpret them and make them valid. And then who is our audience? You have to keep validating that and finding out about that. I mean, I, I would love... I went down to Chopati Beach the other day and there was a Ram Leela going on and it was beautiful, the audience that was there you know, whole families, and why can they not come into a theatre? Why can that, they not be exposed? If they were in their village, they would see their folk theatre. They would see their traditional theatre that takes place. You know, but why can't they come into an auditorium like this? They go to a cinema. One day, perhaps it will help, I, it will work, I don't know. Do you think theatre needs a state patronage? Definitely. It does all over the world. Uh, theatre like ours, which is not commercially huge, you know, hugely successful theatre. Um, everywhere it's supported. But I guess our country has a lot of important things to deal with, you know. My only grouse is that, well, that's in every field, our bureaucracy and our, our, our systems are such that people aren't answerable and aren't accountable for what they decide to do. And that's the system, and I wish one day that we could change it. Uh, because we have so much. We're such a rich country, and we're going to lose it all if we don't watch it. I mean, we've got the most incredible classical art forms, which the government should be supporting, and should be supporting in more than just creating museum pieces of them. What seems to be happening here is we're creating museum pieces of things, and forgetting about the fact that they are live arts, and they have to reach out, and they have to be part of our culture of today. And we're going to get overrun by, by music videos, you know. And um, we forget what we have. How do you manage to survive without state funding? Uh, we've been supported by the government slightly in the past. This year we've got the ICCR supporting our festival, which is the first time we've had an association of this sort, which is really deeply encouraging. Um, but we have been supported in bits and pieces. But the point is that we've never had a long-term association with the government because it's just been so tiresome to deal with the changing governments and with people who keep changing their minds. And one can never figure out what the system is. But uh, therefore, we go to the corporate houses. And uh, we've been really fortunate the last year. And last year's festival and this year's festival have been supported by Max Touch Cultural Heritage Series. And it's... Uh, a very, very good tie-up. We both think the same. We don't have a battle of whose name comes bigger and whose name is smaller. That doesn't seem to be the purpose. Our purpose and our aim is one, and there's no interference. The other thing that happens with state patronage of a lot of festivals that I know about is suddenly you get a little babu from Delhi calling you and telling you that you have to invite this singer or this theater wala or something like that, and that's just not on. You don't do that. You know, you don't behave like you belong, that the festival is yours, that you take over just because you pay for it, whether you're the government or whether you're a patron. And uh, so just like theatre has a long way to go, I think our government has a long way to go as well. Talent from theatre moves to cinema, the best of talent from theatre moves to cinema. But doesn't always come back return just to theatre? Mm. Do you think that uh, theatre is suffering? Well, it definitely has suffered. I mean, uh, when my Prithviraj Kapoor, my grandfather, had his theatre company, a lot of his writers used to write original scripts for him and actors as well. They all went into cinema when cinema became a big boom and theatre died out because of the economics weren't viable. And um, even in the 70s, then you had uh, you know, writers and actors going into cinema. But I think what is happening now is that because TV is becoming such a, um, a quick turnover, you know, access to a good livelihood, 
uh, people are now wanting to come back to to uh, theatre because that really is where the satisfaction is and where the immediate rapport is. You don't have to wait for a film release. You feel your audience right there. So I think for anybody who's really tasted the you know the bug of of uh, theatre and um, they they would want to come back and I, they are coming back slowly. Writers are coming back. Actors are coming back. So it's interesting. Oh, I don't know that one. You know, Indian theatre is very young. We are less than 200 years old when you talk of auditorium-based theatre, not folk, not our traditional forms. Uh, whereas West, theatre is more than 400 years old. Uh, and it's, it's, it's not broken that link of 4,000 years old even from the Greek period. It hasn't broken that link too much. We've broken our link completely from Bhasa's time to you know, the Sanskrit theatre to, to the modern. Um, and possibly because cinema has, has helped break that link, uh, economic reasons, invasions. I don't know what, I'm not a historian or an academic, but we have to still cultivate theatre as part of our culture. Modern theatre has to still be part of our culture. And I think the state needs to give it a very serious thought. It needs to be part of the curriculum in schools, in colleges, in a very serious way, you know. And, and I think then it could work. It is very much part of Maharashtrian life. It is not part of the Hindi-speaking belt's life. And that's where we need to really work, I think. Especially since we base our life on, in Hindi theatre at Prithvi. So that's my concern. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.